Hey everybody, happy Friday. Hope your week has gone great and uh, that God is just continuing to grow you as we take time each day to dive into God's Word. We are in Luke chapter 5 today and there was so much here uh, to focus in on. It was just hard to, to know what to, to really focus in on. There's so many good things. But I wanted to, uh, for our devotion today, focus in on verses 5 and 6. And it says this, Master, Simon replied, we worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again. And this time, their nets were so full of fish, they began to tear. You know, this is uh, some observations from these couple verses is, you know, Simon was was like, Lord, we we've tried it. Like we've been out all night. We worked. We didn't catch anything. And he didn't fully understand why Jesus would say, hey, let's go back out into deeper water. But I love Peter's re re reply. Some Peter's reply. He's just like, Lord, we've been out. But if you say so, we'll go out again. And we see the results that their nets were so full of fish that they began to tear. And, and I think some uh, application for us today is that we don't always fully understand why Jesus says what he says, but like Simon, following his example, we should just go and do it. Now, this is not blind faith. Jesus has proved that what he says is true. He's proved it by showing himself to be the very Son of God, by rising again from the dead, validating his claims that what he says is true. But from a practical standpoint as well, that it continues to show, Jesus continues to show his wisdom over and over again. Now think about this for a moment, all right? We can be filled with bitterness about the hurt that somebody causes us. And we can, we, it's hard for us to understand like, Jesus, why would you want me to forgive this person? They have hurt me greatly. And yet Jesus says to forgive them. And one of the reasons is so we're not filled with bitterness, so our hearts don't become hard. But even if we don't always fully understand, we are called as followers of Jesus to listen, to follow, and to obey. We are called to, to obey Jesus when he says, don't store up treasures on earth, store up treasures in heaven. Examine your idols. Get rid of them so you can be greater followers of me. And it's easy for us to like, Lord, I don't understand how giving back to you is going to help bring freedom in my life. And yet we are called to follow and listen and obey what Jesus says. We see a great example later on in Luke chapter 5 where Jesus goes to the house of Levi or Matthew, same person. And he goes and has a meal with, with Levi and his other tax collector friends and other kind of immoral people. And the Pharisees are getting mad. And yet Jesus has gone to them and he says, hey, it's not the, the healthy who need, a, who need a doctor. It is the sick. And so it can seem weird, like, Jesus, why would you want me to go to this person who is immoral, who is living a lifestyle completely different than what you want, who is just not following you, why would you want me to go and spend time with them? And yet, we are called to do that because they need to hear the good news of Jesus. Like, in Romans 10, Paul actually gives us a good reason. If they don't, if nobody goes to them, how are they going to hear? All right? And so sometimes it doesn't always make sense to us. We don't always fully understand why Jesus wants us to do what he wants us to do. But like Peter, we're called, all right, Lord, if that's what you want me to do, I'll go do it. But you see the results. And it may not always be instantaneous like it was for Peter and, and, and getting this big, huge amount of fish. The results might not show up. For a while or you might not see any results till we're in heaven and the lord lifts the veil and we're like oh that's why that happened but we're still called to follow and to obey and so in thinking and pondering about this today 
maybe as you're continuing to read God's word, you're like, Lord, why would you want me to love my enemies? Why would you want me to forgive those who persecute me? Why would you want me to be focused on treasures in heaven and not hoarding everything for myself? Lord, why do you want me to go to this person who doesn't know you and they just seem like a jerk, really? Uh, or they're just, man, just living in a moral lifestyle. Why would you want me to go and befriend them? Well, we don't always understand, but Jesus is calling us to do that. And I pray today that you would continue and I would continue to follow Jesus where he leads. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we don't always understand uh, why you ask us to do the things that you do, but you are calling us to follow and obey. And Lord, help us to see fruit that comes in our obedience, in our following you and doing what you want us to do. Lord, I pray today that we would, would just go where you want us to go, that we would reach out to those you want us to reach out to, bring the love and the grace and the hope of Jesus to others who need to experience it and hear about it in their lives. God bless our day and our weekend. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God's blessings on the rest of your day and your weekend. We'll hope to see you uh, at church on Sunday, either at Faith or at St. Peter. And uh, if you're not able to join us in person, uh, definitely uh, join us on our live stream as uh, we just continue to grow stronger together, walking with Jesus, encouraging one another, and uh, just bringing the good news of Jesus to others. Have a great weekend.